Hey guys, it's uh, Stan Campbell, and in good morning, Yellow Dig Nation. How you doing? Um, the assignment this uh, Yellow Dig was for ancient grains, um, three of them, that um, and then one that we've consumed. But to talk about three um, of the ancient grains um, of the group, um, there's eight or nine. The the primary definition of an ancient grain really doesn't exist but I mean by the by just the words I mean it has to be old um, but for example wheat um, family is a modern grain but parts of the family tree um, are actually considered ancient grains because they've been they've been um, on record in being used by humanity in society and um, civilizations um, back as, as long as records are being were, were being kept now I say that, and I don't want people to go ancient aliens on me. A little humor there, but we'll just start with stuff on Earth um, and records of that. Um, they have more nutrients than the refined products, and generally they have lower um, levels of the pesticides is what I was finding in, in the readings that the grain does not do well when affected by anything. So that's actually very good for the organic movement that's returning, and the reality that I see is way we should be getting back to as fast as possible. Um, the three that I chose um, were amaranth, black barley, and buckwheat. Um, all, the, all three of the, I've had amaranth, I've had um, black barley, and I've had buckwheat, but I will talk specifically about one of them um, at the end. Um, amaranth is extremely very filling um, when it's used. Um, it's uh, from the North American continent. Actually, the Aztecs used it for about 80% of their energy consumption their warriors would make little balls and little little popcorns and cakes and all these things um it was very um abundant to, for them and very high high um level of uh, energy um the superfood level um and that was on the north american continent um black barley is uh basically from ethiopia was the the records showing as that it came back and is one of the oldest of the the recorded um, uh, ancient grains um, with with estimates back into the 4500 BC time frame. Um, it is very, very high in um, uh, fiber, which then leads to, um, of all the ancient grains, you eat a lot of grains, the fiber is the issue you're going to get a lot of, and then some of them a larger quantity. So if there's any downside, I'm not going to speak of it, but a lot of fiber can have a downside to it um, in our digestive system. Um, buckwheat is the third one that I chose. Buckwheat, my personal favorite, har harkens back to my Rockwell days. As a, I say Rockwell days as a child, like one of those Rockwell paintings uh, of me and my grandfather hunting and fishing and camping um, out. And he would always make, we'd always have buckwheat pancakes. And that was the first time I ever had them. Um, that is the, I put I put a recipe link down below. The, um, and I, I urge everybody to try it at least once. It has like a, a, a smoky maple taste. And the pancakes do not swell up. They're actually very flat. But they're very filling. And um, when you put some real butter on there and a little bit of maple syrup, it that buckwheat pulls at that, that um, maple syrup taste to be even more richer. It's it's fantastic, and that's where I I love it. And so I when I saw that I chose that. Um, the, the possible origins of buckwheat um, that is a controversy. And um, recently uh, with technology, they're probably destroying the first two thoughts of where it came from. Originally was obviously through the Mediterranean and the Arab. Um, state area of northern Africa and Mediterranean um, and then there were records though that it came from farther east than that in in Asia and China in the Himalayan areas but the most recent actual um, uh, evidence is actually coming from uh, the analysis of pollen within some of the grains and the oldest grains available and that's showing the Netherlands area actually coming from the northern Netherlands and in Russia. So they don't know exactly where it came from. I have to lean towards the science and evidence that if they can figure out where where the oldest things were pollinated, well, that it's probably where it it, it, it most likely came from um, to start. 
Um, then again, we might not have the oldest seeds that we're doing that study on. So three possible ones with buckwheat. So Netherlands, Middle, Middle East uh, area, and China area. Uh, regardless, it's fantastic. Um, and uh, that information I got on, on a website, um, CliffordAveWrite.com, which is very in interesting, really short blurb on that. Um, those are the uh, um, three that I had. I, and I think I covered all the uh, um, requirements for the, the class. I Again, I'll have my documentation down below for the references that I used and I looked up. And I hope everybody tries the, the buckwheat pancakes. Um, it's fantastic. And thanks again for this week, and thanks for watching. I, ho I hope I challenge anybody to, you know out there to do a video. Well, it's uh, kind of fun. You get more relaxing on, on the camera. But thanks again. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye now.